Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code1 Digest. Today in this tutorial, we will learn about AWS Lambda. What is AWS Lambda? How to trigger AWS Lambda? How to code and deploy our AWS Lambda? How to add a trigger to our AWS Lambda using AWS Event Bridge? What are different ways we have in AWS Event Bridge to add triggers and targets? So all of that we will learn step by step in this tutorial. If you want to learn AWS Lambda, then there is a tutorial for you. We will learn and create Lambda step by step in this tutorial. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. So here is the agenda of this tutorial today. We'll learn what is AWS Lambda. Then I'll show you how to code Lambda function and how to deploy it. We will add trigger to AWS Lambda using AWS Event Bridge. We will also learn different ways of triggers in Event Bridge. That is what is rule based trigger and what is schedule based trigger and what are the basic different in these two triggers. Then I show you how to run Lambda. We will update Lambda and deploy at runtime. And we will also see how to add multiple targets in Event Bridge rule. Okay, so all the use cases we will cover in this tutorial. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and very informative tutorial today. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. So let's spend one minute on understanding what is AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda is an event-driven serverless function as service provided by Amazon as part of Amazon Web Services. It is designed to enable developers to run code without provisioning or managing servers. It executes code in response to events and automatically manages the computing resources required by that code. So it is serverless service provided by Amazon and we need not to worry about the infrastructure, the resources, the hardware. It automatically assigns the resources. It automatically scales the required resources. Right, friends? Okay, friends. So let's jump to coding the Lambda function. So I have logged in with my credential in AWS console. Please log in into your AWS console and follow this tutorial along with me. As you log in into your AWS console, you will land on home page. You can see the recently visited services listed here. In case if you don't see Lambda in this list, you can search the Lambda service from search box. Here is the Lambda service. Click on that and that will take you to the Lambda dashboard. Then on top left corner, click on those three lines and you can see the Lambda dashboard application and functions option. There are different language supported by AWS Lambda functions like .NET, Java, Node.js, Python, Ruby, and many other languages. The complete list of supporting languages are provided here. Click on the function to create functions. I don't have any function as of now here, and you can see a create function button in your top right corner. Click on that create function. Now you have to fill this form to create a function. I do not have any blueprint, hence I am creating it from scratch or you can create it from your container image if you have. I am providing my name, COD Lambda function and I'll be using Node 22. That's the latest version supported by AWS Lambda. An additional information I want to give you. If you select Java as a runtime, as your programming language, then you won't be able to use Lambda editor. The editor support is not provided for Java language. So I have selected Node.js 22, change default execution role, create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. Lambda will create an execution role name this. So create function. As you can see, my Lambda function is created and I have this code editor available with me to add my piece of code. A sample code is provided here. The thing that we should remember here is for Node.js, it always starts with line 
constant handler async event same way in java you have to implement a request handler interface provided by aws library let me update this code okay friends so i have updated the code of my lambda function log statements added in this function the lambda function runs it is going to log these messages you can also add your logic to perform certain action here instead of this log messages as this is a demo hence i am just logging few statements here i am printing few variables like event dot first name event dot last name and event dot age when lambda function will trigger it will be provided with event and event will have first name last name and age attribute i will ensure that when i'm triggering the lambda function hence i will provide this event and event will have this attributes like first name last name and age this is a very simple code that i have done for lambda function you can make it more sophisticated and add more logic to it as this is a demo tutorial hence i have just kept it simple here so when this is done then you can also have option to test it up front so let's say you are creating one new test event and say cod lambda test event i'll keep it private and let's say i'm providing as i said i have to provide first name last name and age first name pavan last name modi and let's say age i'm providing 30 right and then i'll save this so that we can reuse it later and now i can invoke this and see if my function is working fine so as i have made the code change and once you deploy it then you can invoke your test to validate this function right so as you can see here this is the function log a starting lambda function first name pavan last name modi age 30 data processing done that means our lambda function is working fine now next step is to add trigger to it right there should be certain event to trigger this lambda function hence we have to add some triggers to it okay friends so now it's time for us to add trigger to our lambda function this is a lambda function we have created but it doesn't have a trigger that means it cannot execute itself let's use event bridge to add trigger to our lambda function in search box you can search for event bridge let's open event bridge we have landed on the event bridge dashboard and now here we have options so i'll show you both the ways to create a trigger that is rule based and schedule based the basic difference between rule based and schedule based triggers are a rule cannot have a start time and end time and schedule also provide one time event one more thing is important to understand here is rules required event bus and schedule doesn't require event bus so that is also one difference between rule and schedule now i'll show you how can you create rule to trigger lambda function let me create a rule you can click on create rule button here provide rule name cod lambda rule event bus default so let's select schedule here in this rule because in this tutorial trigger our lambda at every one minute so select schedule here and then click on continue to create rule now you can see there are two options either you can give a cron but we want it to run at a regular rate and the rate is every one minute so select one minute and say next now this is important the target so what will be the target for this rule here we have to select aws service and in aws service drop down you have to select lambda select lambda function and the target is in the same account 
select the function available that is cod lambda function so all the lambda functions will be listed here you have to select the right lambda function configuration you have to keep it default additional setting let it be as is we are not changing anything and say next if you want you can add some tags for better maintenance click next to review it so this is my rule name it is enable it will run at every one minute and there's a target added and this is the ARN of my lambda function right and say create rule right so rule is created that means every minute this rule run and will call my lambda function let us see if our lambda function is getting invoked go to lambda function so this is my lambda function dashboard go inside the function click on the monitor tab let's see the logs and that you can see in the view cloudwatch log so now i will do a start tailing on that so let's wait for some time so as you can see it is triggering starting my lambda function first name is undefined last name is undefined yes because our trigger we have not provided the data hence it is saying undefined let's go back and provide our data in a target if you see this is my target say add it so here in the additional setting you have to provide input provide constant json and i will provide this json at every trigger let me save this update rule and let's go back to our logs and see if we are getting data now lambda is receiving an event an event having that first name as pawan last name as modi and age as 30. i will now trigger my lambda function using schedule instead of rules so let me disable this come down and say create schedule you can say cod lambda schedule i will run at the recurring schedule with the rate of one minute like you also have option of cron but here i'll run that every one minute Just click next and this review will run at every one minute target is this lambda function with this payload and say create schedule this schedule will run and trigger our lambda function friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming and coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i'm not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you okay friends so now i'll show you how to add multiple targets to trigger same lambda right i'll give you a scenario let's say you have a lambda function and you want to use the same code same lambda function for multiple markets for multiple countries assuming you are running the same lambda function for different country so let me put another console.log and say country plus event dot country so you don't have to create lambda function for different country but you can use the same lambda function by passing the country in your event so that it will work for different country now in your trigger you can send the event for different countries so you can have a multiple targets for different country let me deploy this code first so the code is deployed and now let me go to event bridge i'll go to rules i have this rules added this rule let's edit we'll update the constant json so now we also have to provide country information hence i am providing that country right and say next and say update rule so this rule is updated with one target now you have one target now i'll go back to the rules and i'll click on this add it next 
and I'll come to target. So this is my target one. And now come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. And there is option to add another target. Let's say add target two and say AWS service, select target Lambda, same Lambda function. Yes, target in this account, yes. And this is my Lambda function, same Lambda function. Go with the default, let it be as is, retry policy. Now this is my event. What will be the event for this target two? Same way, I'll give a constant JSON. And here I'll say Ravi UK. This is my input for second trigger, second target. And say next, next. So now let's review. This is my rule name. This is my schedule that every one minute and I have two targets. It will run for India user and then it will run for UK user. And both will get trigger at every one minute. Let me update this rule. I updated. Let us see in the logs. So yes, it was running for India. Now it will run for both India and UK at the same time. Just wait for a minute. Okay, friends. So you can see here at 9.23, it got triggered first for UK with this user. And at the same time, 9.23.36, it also triggered another instance of Lambda with India user. So likewise, you can have a multiple targets and you can reuse the same Lambda function. You don't have to run multiple Lambda functions. You can write a code in such a way that you are providing the inputs from trigger. Okay, friends. Now let me summarize what we have learned in this tutorial today. I explained to you what is AWS Lambda function. It is serverless service and you need not to worry about the resources. It can scale as per the requirement automatically. Then we learned how to code Lambda function. You can edit the code in Lambda function editor. We learned how to add trigger to our Lambda function. We learned a difference between event bridge rule versus schedule. Rule doesn't support start and end time. And also rule cannot be used as a one time event, but schedule provided that option. Then we created rule and triggered the Lambda function at every one minute. And we tested it by watching the, by monitoring the logs in AWS CloudWatch. Same way, we created a schedule and then we triggered the Lambda function at every one minute and we saw the logs. We also updated our event bridge rule by adding multiple targets. And then we tested that it was running the same Lambda function for different targets. Every one minute, two instances of Lambda will be created. One will work with the India input and one will work with the UK input. Right friends, I hope you understood the concept of AWS Lambda function and you are now able to write your own Lambda function as per your requirement. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, so do subscribe to my channel to grow Code One Digest family. Thank you. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you. Thank you.